Ah, you're very welcome back. Now, it is Mother's Day, so Anna and Laura have their feet up. While well, myself and Charlo cook up a little treat for them, Charlo, what are we making, dear boy? Okay, we're making white chocolate rhubarb meringue pie. Yeah. Rhubarb, bit of a divisive one, that, isn't it? It's a bit of a divisive one, Love but I, 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 I promise you, the way, it's, the way we make it here today and the way we deliver it is sensational. Of course. So, sensation on a plate. And it's the thought that counts. It's the it? thought that We're counts. Cooking for yeah. the mammies today. Speaking of mammies. Yeah. Hello to mammy. Charlo, hello hello to, to my, my mum, um, Anne Clark. Who's she's, in, she's in hospital. She's in hospital. She had her hip replaced. And she's recovering great, but she's in the war with all the girls there this morning. Morning, so girls. Big shout out to my mum. Morning, girls. Hope Anne's looking after you in that ward and, now. And, and this, this rhubarb meringue pie is going straight in afterwards. I have one ready for her. Girls, okay. there's cake on the way. Okay, right, so let's go. Doing? So we've got three elements to this, okay? So we're going to poach off some rhubarb, use some nice rhubarb. Why we're, we're using rhubarb <coughs> as well? It's fresh banging season at the moment. I remember so we're going to slice. My mum used to grow this out the back garden. Yeah, absolutely. It's not a difficult yeah. one to grow, is it? Oh, no, it's easy to grow, and basically, um, it's so full of flavour now, so poi, tart, it's so versatile. Rhubarb fill, OK? Rhubarb fill. So what fill. we're going to do, is we have um, a little bit of sugar syrup here, so it's just water, sugar, and we split a vanilla pod. And we've just reduced that down to a, a sugar syrup, so it's like we reduce it down by half. Our so recipe's okay. on my website, the recipe's on the website. So and what's in the pan? Down. So it's just sugar, water and vanilla, vanilla pods split down the middle, so you get that lovely bourbon sort of flavour. Nice. You're going to pop in the rhubarb, and then you just take it off the boil, put a lid on it, let it come to room temperature. Once really? it comes to room temperature, then we're going to make meringue and we're going to make some sponge. Now, I have a great recipe here for the sponge. So with the sponge, it's just a, like a one bowl wonder, but there's no folding in. It's just everything into the bowl, whisk it up. So what I have here is I have some uh, stalk margarine, I have some caster sugar, and I've just helped it along a little bit just before we came on air. I'm adding in some um, self-raising flour, a little tip with your self-raising flour to sieve it twice. Okay. Remember to sieve it twice. You, yeah, I saw you, you doing it earlier on. You yeah, sieve yeah. that flour twice. Sieve it twice. Give it a nice little life feel. Just okay? to make it lighter. Exactly. I've got two eggs as well. Now, with the eggs, I always crack an egg into a bowl just in case we get a little bit of a shell. Okay, so there's one egg already in there. Second egg goes in. A little pinch of salt. We have a small <clears throat> table... It's one tablespoon, sorry, small amount of milk. Okay. We have a little bit of vanilla being extracted, like, I mean, to kick on with our flavour. Yeah, more So there's one in there, and then maybe one for the road. What do you think, Simon? I'm sure it's Mother's Day. You got Why one for the road, so, yeah? yeah. So listen, I, this is going to cook away here. I just pop a lid on this, then Charlie like so. Pop a lid on that. Take it off. To, take it off take the boil it off now. It's so important to take it off the okay. boil because you don't want, but you don't want to end, end up with as like a chutney because it's not going to work. Yeah, you don't want to break exactly, it down exactly. Okay. So what I have here then is I have a twenty centimeter um, pop. It's a pop uh, yeah. tin, and okay. I have greased it and I've lined it with a little bit of greaseproof paper. Very so I'm going to ask you to do now, Simon, is yeah. I just mix that. So basically, yeah. there's no folding in. We're just actually just mixing in everything together, combine everything together. Okay. And then if I just ask you to. Pop Charlo that into classic. It's a one pot wonder, yeah. isn't it? I'm mean, gonna just say as well, gonna say hello to a lady there, Marie Heenan from Tala. <coughs> as well, of Simon, she's a big fan of the show. Bless big her. fan of yourself as well. God so we her. say hello, happy Mother's Day to her. Happy okay. Mother's Day. So what we have is we preheated the oven to 180 degrees for the sponge. So we pop it all in. And Simon's doing a great job there. We pop that all in. Lovely. There you go, chef. And here's a little trick at home. Yeah. When you're spreading your sponge mixture. Spread it out, but leave a little sort of hollow in the centre. OK. It just helps, you know, to give you that sort of level effect. Now, you're not always going to achieve a level effect. OK. OK? If you do that, and yeah. then a little tap, and that just settles the batter. Just takes the air out of it. Just the takes thing. the air okay. out of the batter. We pop this into a preheated oven, 180 degrees. 20, 25 minutes. OK. Um, here's one we <clears> prepared <throat> earlier, and a little test. If you two pick a home, I have a little skewer here. Yeah. OK? We're just going to pop it in. Yeah. And if it comes out, Clean, nice and clean, ready to go. Now, the beauty, can I just mention about this sponge? This sponge is, it's like Madeira. It smells gorgeous. It's got yeah. this sort of a, a tarty, real sort of a moist mm. end product. It's fantastic. So just for, just to recap on that, so if you skewer that and it comes out in the, and it's a little bit wet, okay. it's not cooked, back exactly. into the oven for another Pop couple of back minutes. In. Now, if you do find that, um, it, it, look, every oven varies. There's an assignment, yeah, like, yeah, every, yeah. every oven varies. So if you do find that it's getting a little bit dark on top, Let's go, let's, let's, let's get into action. This is when you kick into yeah, your, yeah. your plan B. So you got to cover it, OK? Yeah, yeah. You don't, what do you, you want, is you want to achieve? You want to achieve that nice golden. So color. a little bit of parchment paper or tin foil or something over the top. Exactly. Now, what I've done okay. as well is <clears> I've just popped that out and I've taken the greaseproof paper off it for oh, the next good. section. Is that All OK? Right. OK, yeah. Right, so we pop that over there. <clears> now, here we go with our meringue, right? So it's a basic meringue. So it's eggs, egg whites at room temperature. Very, very important at room temperature. Okay. All these little, tr all these little tips help. They make Richard. a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah. talking to my friend yesterday, and she was saying she can't, she can't get the sponge to rise, but it's probably okay. because she hasn't saved the flour and she hasn't right. used self-raising flour. So all these little tips, okay? Yeah. So what I have in here, I've got the tri 
I've just jumped ahead again because of the noise levels. Yeah. So I have three egg whites in here and I have 180 grams of caster sugar. Okay. Little pinch of salt, which is really, really important because okay. it's not like a chemical reaction there, okay? Yeah, yeah. okay? And now what I have is this cream of tartar, okay? Oh. Now, would you believe this is a, a byproduct of wine producing? Never heard it's of that. It's the this. residue of the wine barrel, okay? Never heard now, of that. Cream it's of tartar. Cream of tartar. And what it does is it gets into the, 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 the bubbles, the, the, the foil, let's say the bubbles, the, the egg white bubbles, and it gives them strength. Okay. Gives them stability and it holds then, okay? We're just under so, two yeah, minutes. Yeah, no Cheryl. problem. So just a quarter of a teaspoon. Now, apparently, <clears> if you don't have this, your lemon juice or your uh, white wine vinegar, okay? Now, we beat this up. We go for 30 seconds. Now, we have rhubarb here that we've already strained. Take exactly. our vanilla out, Charlie. Exactly, it's at room temperature. So the vanilla goes out. Vanilla pot out. So very important. Bring your bring your vanilla to room temperature. Yeah. Sorry, bring your rhubarb to room temperature, strain it. Fold now, we're going to fold in with nice soft peaks here. If you see the meringue mixture there, it's yeah, nice. And the and shine stiff. off it. Yeah, with the cream of tartar as well, that's what you achieve. Okay, and we're you're going, going to fold, are you? We're going to fold this in. So quickly just fold it in. And then we're going to place it on top of our pie. Very good. We're of down our sponge, minute, no problem. Look at this so fella level it now. out. Push it over there, Simon. Yeah, gotcha. We level this out, okay? Yeah. That in there. Pop it into your oven at 230 degrees. Right 230 degrees for 15 minutes. And Beautiful. what you achieve then is a nice Ta -da. crust, okay? How pretty Look is at that? that. Beauty. Now, what you have here as well is you have the cream of tartar holding it together and firming it up. Now, just to finish off then, I want you just to have got these edible flowers. I got right. these from my veg supplier, DVP. Fantastic guys. And uh, they flowers. look after them. So you just pick off a few petals there. Why and what certainly. I've done here, over a little bat of water in a, a bowl, I've just got some white chocolate chips. So I've done like 30 grams of white chocolate chips and I've put in a little bit of double cream just to make a little bit of sauce. Have. And what we're going to do, just to... The, okay. Just to finish it all off, we're going to drizzle some white chocolate oh, yeah. all over the meringue cake, meringue pie. Right, girls. Like, this is fantastic. Like, this is a meringue, meringue and white chocolate. <laughs> Come on, mammies. <laughs> this is a meringue and white chocolate. Yeah, look at what we've got. Look at this. Do you even wow. have meringue in your it's face? It actually yeah. works. Charlo, did you yeah. put him to work? Yeah, he <laughs> did put me to work. Yeah, and well, he was fantastic. Give the yeah. girls a piece. Would you like a piece, girls? Yes, please. Nice. How, how was your face? Incredible, can I, Charlo. Can I, can I just say, how, how pretty does that look? That looks Thank you so much. Oh, the cake. Throw that down. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Happy Mother's Day, girls. Right, girls. Oh, thank you, yeah. Charlo. No that's that's insta ready, I think, oh, Charlo, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Girls, just wait to taste the lightness. Wait to taste the lightness. And when I, mean, I say to sensation on the plate, I really Look mean it. Look at that. Laura, go for it. Right, I really mean it. It looks taste so tasty. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thank you, Charlo, and thanks for yeah. that. Yeah, the white chocolate drizzled all over it just for extra. Yeah, I want to get a bit of that. Yeah. Because it's Mother's Day. Yeah, we're on, girls. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Charlo, Charlo, thank you. 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 Thank that's charlothechef.com well, yeah. or as ever, we'll throw it up on our own website. Now, mm. after the break, Fly Youth's breathtaking performance, earn them a place and earn has got talents final. They'll be stopping by next. How's the cake? Oh, it's really Absolutely good. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. See you in a few minutes. Gorgeous. Well done, Thanks, Charlo. Charlo.